Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Damon and today is July, Wednesday, July 31st, the last day of July. Yeah, so right now I am headed into town. I'm up a little sooner than what I normally get going with things. And I'm headed to town. I gotta go to the parts store and pick up the expansion valve. And I have the old compressor here in that box. I gotta return that. That's part of the core exchange. So I gotta bring that to the to Napa. Then I gotta go to a different parts store to get the expansion valve because they could get it in the, the quickest. So that's what I'm doing here. But yeah. So yes. So um. Yeah, I am headed into town for that, and uh, kind of a mostly cloudy morning, and uh, yeah, so hopefully today we're going to get started chopping hay, and uh, yeah, we'll get going with that, and uh, see how the day goes, and yeah. Um, try to get that air conditioning thing all fixed finish up with that um, I'm gonna call the refrigeration people so we can get that expansion valve fixed and uh, and everything will be good and um, yeah so I gonna get that stuff in town and then uh, I guess I'll get back with you later here and uh, We'll see how the day goes, see if we have any breakdowns or if we don't have any breakdowns there. I hope not. federal milk inspector and yeah we just got inspected well yeah so I think he passed us I guess we'll see when we get the paperwork but we talked with him visit with him he's a pretty nice guy though the, the fed guy whatever the guy that they come around once every two years so we kind of know you know we did kind of have an idea that he was coming because yeah it's once every two years he shows up you know but we know within that time he's going to be coming sometime so so yeah so uh we've got that done and i'm working at the feeding here and um Yeah, and we're, I never got anything done with that tractor, with the air conditioning, with, the tractor, with that expansion belt. Uh, I have just, uh, I talked to the refrigeration guys and they said they wouldn't be able to come today, so they can come tomorrow. So, um, we're going to obviously start chopping today, but we're still going to use the tractor. But we're not going to um, use the AC in it. We're just going to use the AC, or not use the AC on it. We can't always overhead or overheat the compressor and blow it out again because that's what destroyed the last one. The expansion valve got stuck and would not allow the uh, refrigerant to circulate through the system, thus causing the head to get too hot and taking out the compressor. So we don't want to do that same have that same thing happen again. So, yeah, so there's we're just gonna use the tractor. Um, without the AC, you just have to turn the fan on, open up the windows or whatever for now. But um, they're going to come tomorrow and they're going to finish that job, put that expansion valve in, and then we'll be as good as gold. 
Yeah, it is gold. So, um, yeah. So I better get these dry cows fed and finish the rest of the feeding and then I gotta finish hooking up the silage cutter and uh, maybe sharpen the knives and probably do some greasing on the cutter and be good to go. And we gotta rake. That's the field out there we're gonna start on. We have to rake the rounds around the field and um, do that. So uh, we're gonna get started on record cutting hay. Finally, the end of July, just like we started chopping hay in about the end of June, first cutting hay in the end of June. Ugh. Jet. Huh. What's a corporate jet doing flying out here? Not very often you see a corporate jet like that flying around here. I heard the hum of a jet engine someplace. <laughs> I was just in here in the shed here getting getting the tractor hooked up here. And um, yeah, there was a jet flying overhead. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this hooked up and then head up to the yard. Well, one more thing too before I run this out of the shed here. Um, yeah, we gotta pull the gravity box out and uh, so we can get to the to the mire wagon here so yeah so we gotta as soon as i well we'll get this out of here first and then come out and move the gravity box and get hooked up to the mire wagon Okay, what do I have to do to the cutter? Um, I, I, I gotta grease it and then we gotta take the control box and put that back in the tractor because we took that out um, when we, they took it down to the uh, New Holland dealership to get that oil problem fixed. And I'm not for sure about the knives here yet. I mean, they're not like they're terribly bad, but I don't know. I don't know. I think for today, you might just leave them to save time. I wouldn't mind doing it if this is like a 900 cutter, and like I say, it had the the setup so you could set the shear bar faster on here. I just don't like doing that. So, and then uh, something else we got to do here too is replace one of these tips. This really rusty one right here. We got to replace that one um, because it. One of these SCVs, I think it's this one here. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that O-ring is missing in there. We got to put a new O-ring in there. I think that one is missing too. So I got to put a new O-ring in there. I think I do. Or how is that? Where are those O-rings? I can't see with my sunglasses. Oh, there they are. They're back in there. Yeah, there they are. I see them. Yeah, it cut. I think it cut some of the O-rings in there because this one's kind of rust. I think actually both of these are going to replace both of them, but it's kind of rough right there. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that. I think right now I'm kind of hungry, so I think I'm going to grab a bite to eat quick. Or try to grab a, a quick bite to eat anyways. Sometimes you never get out back out of the house as soon as you say you are, but <laughs> you know how that is when you're really hungry sometimes or you just eat a big meal sometimes sometimes it's like it's really hard to, after you eat to get up and get yourself going again because all the blood rushes to your stomach and makes your head sleepy makes you feel sleepy so, so you really have to fight that sometimes when you do that so um yeah so i'm gonna do that and get this going and my brother, he says he's going to grease the bagger in a bit. You know, he's going to do that anyway. So, um, yeah. So, keep plugging away here and hopefully get that stuff chopped here yet today. It's not a lot, but... Oh, yeah, and then too, I, I got I to gotta put that thing back on in that tractor there. I got to put the top back on. I'm just going to put it on, just a couple screws in to hold it in. Um... Well, the cover on the back side. So that way you guys know. We just can't run the air conditioner on it. We can run the fan. I got to put that cover back on top. And so we can at least run the air conditioner. Until the refrigeration people can come back and replace the expansion valve in there. So.
Sylvester. What are you doing here? You like blue tractors, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Just getting going here. Everything just takes just takes time to get everything ready. And uh, actually, that's my first cousin. He's a, he came over to, to help. We just got to start chopping a little while ago. He got these ends chopped off. So I'm gonna head down there. I'm gonna head down there and uh, follow him and see where we where we get a load. I guess so. I had to get this thing warming up. Oh, in Sylvester. I suppose. I better bring Sylvester along with me. He does Sylvester likes tractor along. This is a great tractor. Hop in! I got the tractor still in park yet and all the pressures that I tied that will go pretty soon I'm gonna be able to release it but um, one of the things you want to make sure is that you get the bag back here nice and tight before you take the parking brake off and back the presser down it's still not quite as tight as it can go yet so that's what I'm making sure here. Make sure that it's doing what it's pressure. You want to make sure there's no air pockets in there. None. So far, everything's going good. Nothing's broke down yet, so that's a plus. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big wad of stuff there. We got it out. Just gotta get this out here now.
My cousin slugged the head. We're going. We're going again. Okay, we're done with everything for the day. We didn't get any more hay cut down, so we'll have to do it tomorrow. But yeah, I don't know. It's about 1.30 in the morning, so yeah. So it's been a long, long day. And um, I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow. Well, I know we got to grind a couple batches of feed, I think. One for the cows, one for the cows. I'm going to cut some hay down and... Uh, Hopefully they're going to come back and finish that tractor, that 4240 tomorrow too, get that expansion valve in. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, just everything just takes so long sometimes, it's just it didn't, it took so long to get the hay cut because uh, my cousin, he plugged the, he ran a big wad of hay in the, in the head and all, that just took up a bunch of time, but, oh well, it is what it is, so. Anyways, I'm tired, so I'm I'm gonna head up and hit the hay sack. And uh, so, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks to everybody that has taken the time to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to, leave a comment down in the comment section. And uh, check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. Did I just say that? I can't remember. I'm so tired. So, anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And take care and. I'll catch you later.